Hello, this week I want to tell you my work report for the completion of the power plant. To build a power plant, the first step is to prepare a power box in which all the equipment can be placed. I made this box very light and cheap and used fiberglass sheets to cover it. So our box will be very resistant to rain and sun. I had to show you this video so that you can familiarize yourself with the work process during the unveiling of the home power plant. Now we will check the box together. As you can see, the top of this box has an arch from which rainwater can easily escape. The box door opens easily like the hood of a car. The dimensions of the door are 15 centimeters more than the box on each side, and this is because of better coverage. In addition, this door has two separate layers. Now let's look around the box together. The dimensions of the box are 1.5 by 0.8 by 0.9 meters. The box has six bases that I have made in this way and it is adjustable. As you can see, the roof of the box is two layers. Now let's check the inside of the box. I put the batteries and inverter and Tobin in there for now to keep them out of the sun and this is temporary. Apart from this, the entire surface of the box is covered with a layer of foam with a thickness of 2 cm. The use of foam is because the sound of the steam turbine will not be transmitted outside the box, although the turbine itself will be isolated. The sound of the system should be such that it does not create noise pollution for the surrounding environment. I made this box very quickly and I'm sure you will make it better than me. At the same time, I painted the box with white paint so that it absorbs less heat in front of the sun. Another important thing I did is make a cover for the steam tank. This cover is used to isolate the tank from the surrounding air, and the important thing it does is to prevent the tank from getting cold due to the presence of wind. This cover is connected to the moving part of the solar dish and you can see that it moves with the horizontal movement of the cover dish. And the tank is always placed in front of the focal point of the solar dish. Therefore, the power box system must be resistant to wind, rain, sunlight, and dust. The internal system itself generates heat, so the white color can at least block the sun's heat. I really don't know how much work I have until the system is completed, and unfortunately, I can't make a video of all the stages of the power plant construction, because it will greatly slow down my work. This system will be a unique power plant that can compete with solar panels, but how will it do this and the answer will be on the day of the unveiling of the power plant. The system has a lot of electronic work, but I hope to meet you in the next series with full hands, so goodbye until the next program.